Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nivedita. So this is KC 2023 Life Science uh, Most Important Topics Discussion Series. This is part four of this series, okay? So uh, the remaining three series are there. So I provide the link in description, check it out. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about glycogen storage diseases, okay? So first of all, uh, what is glycogen? It is a storage polysaccharide in animals. So when it comes to the plants, starch is a storage polysaccharide, but this glycogen in animals, this is a storage polysaccharide. So the name itself says that is storage polysaccharide. It has to be stored in our body. And also <clears throat> during emergency conditions, it has to convert into glucose and provide energy to us, right? So here some metabolism has to be takes place uh, from the conversion of uh, glucose to, uh, uh, sorry, glycogen to glucose, right? Because glycogen is a polysaccharide, is made up of glucose monos monosaccharides. It has to break down into monosaccharides and only it is uh, released some sort of energy because glycogen this has to take place some sort of ATPs has to be released in the form of uh, energy currency. Okay, so here just uh, have a look on the pathway here. You can see here, this is a, uh, glycogen pathway. So usually glycogen is there. Okay. So with the help of this uh, glycogen synthase, glycogen phosphorylase enzyme, it has to convert into glucose one phosphate. Here also rebranching enzyme is there. From the glucose one phosphate, glucose six, uh, it has to convert into glucose six phosphate. From glucose six phosphate, it has to convert into glucose. So several enzymes are involved here from the conversion of glucose glycogen to glucose. Okay, so usually in the glycolysis, glucose, uh, six carbon glucose is converted into pyruvate, that is three carbon, two pyruvates. But here, when there is no glucose in our body, our body needs energy, right? Our body has to work. So uh, in our blood, glucose has to be transported, right, for the production of ATP. So when there is no glucose, uh, in the emergency purpose, when there is in the fasting condition and all, uh, in the emergency purpose, glycogen are present in our body, okay? So that glycogen has to break down into glucose, then provide energy for us, right? So here what happened, this glycogen has to undergo breakdown with, with the help of several enzymes into glucose. So here, some enzymes deficiency takes place. So when there is a deficiency takes place, what happened? Some sort of uh, deficiency that is storage diseases will happen. So that is what called as glycogen storage diseases, okay? So usually uh, seven main glycogen storage diseases are there. So along with these two more diseases also we discussed in today's video, okay? So the first, the first glycogen storage disease, which one? You can see here that is type 1. Type 1 glycogen storage disease is a von Geer disease, okay? So just write VG. Just remember VG. So in GIRC G is there, right? So the deficient enzyme, defective enzyme is what that is? Glucose 6-phosphatase. So in the last step, from glucose 6-phosphate to glucose a conversion has to be taste phase, right? So there the enzyme, which one? That is glucose 6-phosphatase. So for example, uh, usually 6-carbon is present in the glucose, right? So in the uh, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in the sixth position, one phosphate is there. So when the removal of this phosphate takes place, so now this structure we call as a glucose. For the removal of this phosphate, a particular enzyme is responsible, that is glucose 6-phosphatase. In the case of glycolysis, which enzyme, that is hexokinase, are there, which is a donor of phosphate. So there, glucose to glucose 6 phosphate conversion takes place. But here, glycogen is converted into glucose, so that's why what happened? The 6-phosphate, which is present in the 6-carbon, has to be removed. So, for the removal of 6-phosphate, which enzyme is responsible? That is, glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme is responsible. Okay. So, here in the type 1 glycogen storage diseases, it is von Girk disease. So, the deficient enzyme is what? That is, glucose 6-phosphatase is the defective enzyme. Okay. So, when this phosphate uh, will defect, what happens? That will lead to the storage of other substrate. The storage of glycogen, okay? Uh, there is no conversion of glucose. That means what? The storage of glycogen takes place, which will lead to a accumulation of glycogen in particular organs, okay? So when come to the type 1 here, two organs are affected, that is liver and also kidney, okay?
so here liver and kidney are the organs which are affected by this type 1 glycogen storage diseases and here glycogen in the affected organ usually what happen when there is no conversion of glucose the accumulation of glycogen takes place where in liver as well as kidney increased amount of the glycogen and when come to the structure of glycogen the uh, glycogen structure is normal there is no changes in the normal there is no changes in the glycogen structure so here when come to the clinical features the massive enlargement of a liver anyhow uh, you know uh, when there is accumulation of glycogen takes place in the liver that leads to what the enlargement of liver okay and also the failure to thrive and severe hypoglycemia low level of glucose because glycogen is not converted into glucose that means what the low level of glucose so next is the ketosis okay so next is the hyperuricemia that is uh, increased amount of uh, uric acid so next hyperlipidemia that is increased amount of lipids okay so these all are the clinical features of this type 1 that is von gerich uh, glycogen storage disease okay so next one uh, that is type 2 glycogen storage disease we will see here so type 2 glycogen storage that is called as a pompe disease okay so here the defective enzyme is what that is lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase okay so this which enzyme that is lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase is the enzyme which is uh, you know defective by this type 2 glycogen storage disease so when come to this organ affected here so which enzyme that is lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase enzyme and here all organs are getting affected by this type 2 glycogen storage disease okay so glycogen in the affected organ the massive increase in amount here also there is no conversion of glucose that's why the massive increase in amount so next when come to the structure of the glycogen the glycogen structure is normal there is no variation in the glycogen structure okay so next here the clinical features of this uh, type 2 glycogen storage disease that is cardio respiratory failure which will cause us death usually before in the age 2 okay in the before age 2 if this type 2 glycogen storage disease will takes place that's that will leads to death and also cardio respiratory failure okay so next is the type 3 glycogen storage diseases which one that is cori diseases okay so type 3 glycogen diseases that is cori disease so here the defective enzyme which one that is debranching enzyme and the name of the debranching enzyme is amylo 16 glucosidase okay then uh, you know enzymes names are very very important enzyme name as well as the diseases name okay that is very very important and here in the type 3 glycogen storage disease that is in the cori disease the defective enzyme is what that is amylo 16 glucosidase and this is a debranching enzyme okay so organ affected in the case of type 3 glycogen disease muscle and also liver will get affected and in the case of uh, glycogen increased amount of glycogen and in the glycogen structure short outer branches takes place in the type 1 and type 2 there is no changes in the structure of the glycogen but here you can see short outer branches will takes place in the case of type 3 glycogen storage diseases okay so here the clinical features are that is like type 1 only you can see here type 1 clinical features that is massive enlargement of liver hypoglycemia hyperuricemia hyperlipidemia the same thing but here the milder course uh, just like type 1 only but when compared to the type 1 it is milder so next is the type 4 glycogen storage disease that is anderson disease okay so type 4 glycogen disease is what that is anderson disease and here the deficient enzyme is what that is branching enzyme that is between alpha 14 and alpha 16 the branching takes place okay that is branching enzyme and organ affected that is liver and also spleen okay so when come to the uh, affected organ the normal amount of uh, glycogen takes place and here also the similar like type 3 uh, structural changes takes place in the case of uh, glycogen that is very long outer branches takes place because it is a branching enzyme deficient takes place 
when there is a branching enzyme deficient happen what happen the outer branches is very long and when come to the clinical features it is progressive cirrhosis of the liver liver cirrhosis liver failure which will cause the death usually before the age 2 usually in the children okay so next one is the type 5 glycogen storage diseases that is meckardle diseases okay so here the defective enzyme is what that is phosphorylase enzyme in the case of meckardle disease okay so which one type 5 glycogen disease is a meckardle disease and the defective enzyme is what that is phosphorylase enzyme and the organ affected is a muscle will get affected uh, because of this type 5 glycogen storage diseases and the glycogen in the affected organ so moderately increase the glycogen okay so next uh, that is glycogen amount will moderately increase and the structure of this glycogen is normal there is no changes in the structure just just like a type 3 and type 4 okay so when come to the clinical features of this type 5 glycogen storage diseases limited ability to uh, perform strenuous exercises because of painful muscle cramps you can see it is only affected to the muscle that's why it is painful muscle cramps otherwise patient is normal and well developed not such severe uh, no clinical features so next is the that is type 6 glycogen storage diseases that is hers disease okay type 6 is what that is hers disease and here the defective enzyme here also that is phosphorylase enzyme is getting defected in the case of type 6 glycogen storage diseases and here the organ affected that is liver will get affected because of this type 6 glycogen storage diseases so here the glycogen the glycogen amount will get increased increased amount of glycogen and here the clinical features are like type 1 but milder course okay so the next is type uh, 7 and type 3 are the two more glycogen storage diseases so here in the case of type 6 phosphofructokinase enzyme will get affected okay so here muscle is the organ which is affected by this type 7 okay so here the increased amount of glycogen takes place and the structure is normal and here the clinical features are just like uh, just similar like type 5 you can see the meckardle is a type 5 glycogen storage disease as right so here the clinical features are similar of meckardle glycogen storage disease and the last one is what that is type 8 okay so here the uh, defective enzyme is phosphorylase kinase phosphorylase kinase is a defective enzyme and the organ affected that is a liver liver will get affect uh, because of this type 8 glycogen storage disease so here also increased amount of glycogen takes place and the structure of glycogen is normal and the clinical features are mild liver enlargement because organ affected which one that is liver will get affect that's why liver enlargement takes place that is mild so next hypoglycemia the glucose level will decrease that is mild hypoglycemia in the case of type 8 glycogen storage diseases so here type uh, types 1 through type 8 are inherited as autosomal recessive but type 8 is a sex linked okay from 1 to 7 this is a autosomal because of this autosomal recessive condition but this type 8 is there and it is a sex linked condition okay so these all are some important glycogen storage diseases uh, just go through the defective enzymes types organs and also clinical features so uh, there is you know this type of question is not only in case set in any exam there are many life science exams are there like csir icmr dbt gate like that so this chart is just like you know just fast division like that just go through this slide that's more than enough if any doubts just let me know in the comment box so if you like this video please like this video because that will give some motivation to do some more videos like this okay so thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos